What's going on, people? You have to excuse my voice because I've been out of commission for the past couple of weeks. I don't know what that was. Myself, personally, I don't usually get sick. I don't usually get colds or viruses or flus. Every now and again, I may get like maybe a cough or a sore throat or something like that, but not too often. This time, it came out of nowhere. And I was in, I was literally in the bed for like the past couple of weeks. I wanted to make sure that I got my rest. Now, as you can tell from my voice, it's still a little, little groggy. I really don't like the way my voice sounds and I can't wait to get my voice back, right? You never really appreciate um, what you have, like things that we take for granted every day until it's gone. I couldn't talk for like the past couple of weeks. Of course, I could speak, but you really can't understand like or understand what I was saying. <clears throat> now, I want to talk about the Hebrew Israelites, but before I get started, I want to talk briefly about this disease X. Now, this is an article I posted back in October on the 25th. And I, I, I had intentions on making videos, because, but because of the fact that I became so busy, really didn't have time to do it, okay? So I'm gonna try to get through this. I'm not gonna read the, really read the article. I'm gonna put the link to the article on the bottom and you can read it in its entirety for yourself okay <coughs> excuse me but like I said I'm just now getting off of whatever that was you know and there's quite a few people that's getting you know flus and viruses and and I heard in the news man that 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 this is like one of the worst monsters viruses that they ever had okay now they could just be saying that just for media play and it could be tr some truth to it but I haven't been able to do anything, man. It's like, I've just been, and you know, I'm gonna tell you something. Water is a healer, right? Now I usually drink water, but during this virus, during this cold thing, cause I really don't like taking drugs or medications into my body. But during this virus, man, whatever this thing was, all I did was drink water, a soup, drink my chamomile tea, <coughs> drink my peppermint tea right and I had a sore throat my, my throat was so sore man you know that I couldn't talk or anything man it was just so much pain right and what I did was I started to start drinking a lot of water and within a couple of days that sore throat was gone you know I started coughing up some yellowish green OD I mean lime green you know not to get gross or violent, I'm mean, gross or I'm on you, but I mean, it is violent, man. To cough up something like that, it's, it's quite violent, right? It's violent to my throat because it hurt it, right? But I was coughing up some lime green stuff, man. Then it turned dark, OD green, bloody looking mucus and all this other nonsense, man. And, um, but I was eating stuff to, to, to get the mucus out of me because mucus causes a lot of a lot of our, our sickness or you know dis-ease right but it's just amazing man how water is a healer man when you drink water man I mean your body needs that water to flush out impurities in your body but like I said this is an article that I posted back in October and you see the title it says no one is safe it says no one is safe disease X breakout that could kill 80 million is on the horizon and scientists need help. Now, I'm just gonna read the first couple of paragraphs and that's it. I'll show you some of the other articles, but that's all because right now I'm just kind of straining my voice now. But it says an outbreak of so-called disease X is on the horizon and could kill 80 million. See, they're predicting death. And I was saying to my family member, I said, you know, I said, it's interesting because, and I know a lot of people, they blame other people for fear or for what they don't understand or what they don't know. But a lot of the stuff that we see happening now, 
I didn't see growing up, man. I mean, people had colds and they had the flu. But to the extent that people get it now where people are actually dying from this, I, I went to sleep and I had this vision, man. And this, this is how bad the flu was that I had. Went to sleep, I had a vision. And I was walking past this, I was across the street and I was walking, pa walking past this uh, graveyard, right? And this, this guy came out of this graveyard, he looked like a bum, white guy, he had like whitish gray hair, like just, just hanging down, he had like this trench coat looking thing or whatever he had on. And he was coming out of the graveyard. And he called me by my name, not my first name, but he called my last name. And he said, how are you doing? And I said, I'm doing great. I said, how are you doing, man? I said, everything is well, right? He said, that's good. And I said, wait a minute, did this man just call me by my name, right? And he came out and he just like walked on up the hill, you know, along the cemetery. And so when I woke up, I'm like, wow, I, said, I, hope, that, I hope that's like not death calling my name because they say every year take a number, you know? And <clears throat> right now is the time of year where you're gonna start hearing a lot of people dying, especially celebrities, man, that made packs with the devil, right? So a lot of celebrities' lives are going to be taken now. I mean, they could be young, old. Their lives are going now because of deals that they made, man, in their lifetime. But this dude called my name, man. He called me by my last name. And I woke up and I'm like, wow, so I hope this dude, man, you know, it's just kind of crazy, man. I said, hope that's not death calling my name, man. Death is not near because it's like I just couldn't shake this thing, man. So finally, I gave in and went into um, prompt care, right? Because they have what they call a Z pack, you know, where you take two of these pills and then one each day for five days and it knocks out that virus. But uh, yeah, they gave me the Z pack and I took them. Today was like the last day I took the thing, man, and it, it knocked it out and whatnot. But I still somewhat have the remnants of it. You understand, you know, because my voice is still groggy, still a little congested and whatnot, you know. Um, but I oh, feel a whole lot better, right? But a lot of people are actually dying from these flus, man, these viruses that they have here. And a lot of it, man, is by design. See, because you got to really consider there's people now that's in this country from all over the world. And they're not just coming over. The Mexican border, you know, I mean, not just Mexicans are coming over the Mexican border because you got people that's flying from other countries into Mexico just to come into the United States, right? And the United States got messed up immigration laws, and of course, Trump is trying to fix them, but the demon craps are not allowing them to fix it, right? And and it's just amazing that the demon craps got so much power to do what they're doing now, but they have no power to fix the condition in the poor communities, in the so-called black communities. You know, it's just interesting that they got so much power, but they only use it when it conveniences them, you know? And so we have so many people that's coming into this country and they're now, sanctuary cities are being placed, illegal immigrants, it's not vetted. They have had no type of um, immunizations, no shots or anything. They, they sneak into the country and they're placed in sanctuary cities, man. Don't know nothing about these people. Don't know what type of diseases that they're carrying. And we all know that there's been like bugs, man, from like different places. Now, at one time I was saying that maybe it was the storms, like the hurricanes that were blowing, blowing a lot of these insects and creatures that we've never seen before, blowing them this way. But then I'm thinking like, well, come up in the 60s and the 70s, 80s, they were hurricanes. And we didn't see no strange bugs being blown this way. But now we have a lot of illegal immigrants in this country, right? And, and and for you people that get sensitive and say, oh, that's discrimination and, you know, fear mongering, whatever you want to say, let's not forget history. When the so-called white man came to the Americas, they came with smallpox. Remember that? They had smallpox and blankets, man, that killed off a lot of my people, right? A lot of the natives, man, they killed them off with smallpox. They came with diseases. White people were dying too, 
right? So when they came here, they came here with diseases, man, right? And let's not forget these aboriginal islands, man, these places, man, that had never had contact with anyone outside of that, outside of that civilization, right? And I'm gonna call it a civilization because in their own way, they are civilized, right? We may not understand it, but they understand it, just like we're foreigners to them. So when you have white men that go over to these islands and mess with these, these aborigines, they take diseases with them, right? Or they'll bring diseases back, right? So it's not too far-fetched to say that a lot of these foreigners, a lot of these illegal immigrants is coming to this country, man, is not bringing a lot of these diseases here. So they are full aware of what's going on and that's why articles like this are written because they are aware that a lot of these diseases that's coming here and they're predicting a disease X outbreak that's going to kill 80 million people. They're predicting the death of 80 million people, right? But on with the article, it says, and could kill 80 million people World Health Organization experts have warned. Scientists are looking for vaccines that could combat the as yet known infectious diseases and unknown pathogens. See, you could be in public places, man, restaurants, just walking down the street, or in hospitals because you have a lot of immigrants that's working in hospitals. They come to America, America trains them, America now puts them in the hospitals and prescribing you medication, right? Who's to say, and I'm sure that they were probably vetted and they were probably given vaccinations or whatever, but then again, we don't know, right? So we're dealing with a lot of foreigners that, that we really don't know, right? But to end this video, just want to scroll down and show you something. These are the newly merging diseases by continent. See, these are diseases that are newly merging among different continents. And people are moving, man, globally, people are moving to different places. They're taking different diseases to different places. And I'm sure there's some Americans that are traveling to different countries and taking diseases there too, right? There's a re-emerging and resurging diseases by continent, right? Look at North America. Look at these diseases, man. Worldwide. So, I'm gonna put the article at the bottom and you can read it for yourself, but they're predicting the death of Americans, man. They're predicting the death of these people. See, and they are full aware of what's going on. And see, that's why, I mean, it's good to have a good heart, man. It's good to want to help people and do good in the world. But you also have to use some type of wisdom and common sense. You understand? It's like self-preservation doesn't exist no more. People don't care about preserving their own lives or the lives of their families. People are willing to sacrifice their life and their family's lives for strangers. People that don't like them, people they don't know, and people that I would consider the criminal because they steal their way into a country, right? So there's a lot going around now and people have to learn to start protecting themselves, man, right? If you look at like China, for example, in Asia, you got people that walk around with face masks all the time. And I used to always question like, well, why are they walking around with these masks? And then I'm thinking like, well, maybe they got a cold or maybe um, there's germaphobes as they would call them where they're afraid that they're gonna get diseases, right? But when they come to America, them same people that walk around with face masks, when they come to America, they don't wear no mask. They just come over here and just become Americanized, right? And then we wonder where all these diseases and viruses are coming from. We wonder where all these strange looking bugs are coming from. 
things that we've never known, our, our parents, our ancestors have never known, right? So I'm going to put the article on the bottom. You guys can check it out for yourself. Now, instead of making two videos, I'm just going to make one, okay? So on to the next story. New Jersey shooting, who are the Hebrew Israelites? Now, again, I'm not going to read the entirety of this article. I'll also put this on the bottom and you guys can check it out for yourself. But what's quite interesting to me is that I hear quite a few black Americans are saying now that the Hebrew Israelites are being targeted. Oh, they're targeting Hebrew Israelites. Oh, they're targeting us. If you can remember back before I canceled or I canceled my Fearless 2005 channel, and it may even be on my Fearless J1111 channel. But I spoke about how um, that they were coming for the Hebrew Israelites. You know, all of these so-called black conscious groups, and I'm not saying this for you to be fearful or say like, oh, I don't want them to do with that and whatever. I'm just saying, when you put yourself out there and you start talking about kill the white man and his kids and calling them crackers and you making them bow down and kiss my feet and do all these crazy things. White people aren't like black people. See, black people are emotional, right? If you put up the picture of a coon, man, black people will go crazy. They're giving like, you know, big businesses all types of advertisement man because all they got to do is mention something what they perceive as racial and black people run with it they're emotional they cry too much right white people on the other hand they'll take it okay cool no problem you call me a cracker you call me a honky you say kill the white man his kids all right we're just going to give you enough rope to hang yourself white people give you enough rope to hang yourself and then come back later you understand they will come back later it's like a drive-by shooting man because you do something to somebody man disrespect your brother man and you walk away from that next thing you know drive-by shooting and you were like why well, I, I ain't think he was gonna come back like that I didn't expect that but black people don't think right in most cases a lot of black people do not think man and so when you start putting out that type of energy Trust me, they are marking you. You are marked for death. They're gonna come back at a later date because you're gonna forget about what you said. You're gonna think that you're scot-free. And I always tell you guys, man, I told you on that Fearless 2005 channel, as a matter of fact, while I'm on that, I canceled that channel, but I created another channel with the same email address, same information. It's a new channel. And it's a uh, title Warrior Storm. I have a new channel, Warrior Storm. I will put a link to that channel on the bottom, and you can go subscribe if you choose to. Warrior Storm. And on that channel, I will be having exclusive videos on that channel. I already have a couple of videos on that channel, but I'm gonna have ex exclusive videos on that channel because I want to build that up like I had to fill this 2005 channel. So Warrior Storm. I'll put that link on the bottom and you can go subscribe for yourself. But I mentioned in that last video, in, in, that, in that video on Fearless 2005, it's like they're coming back for you because y'all are saying like kill the white man and his kids. And I said, watch, they're coming back at y'all, man. When you start joining these anti-white groups and the white man's the devil and all this other night and black power, trust me, they are coming back and you got black people, man. Listen, <laughs> listen, a lot of y'all, and I mentioned this before, a lot of y'all think you're free and <laughs> you're not free, man. You forget that in a sense, you're still behind enemy lines. I'm not saying walk around being afraid, but you are behind enemy lines. And the demon crafts will use you to their advantage. They will play, they will use your energy your emotions, your anger to accomplish their agenda and make you feel like you are now a part of them. 
So as long as you are pushing their agenda, you're cursing Trump, you know, you're calling Trump the devil and he's a white man and he's misogynist and all these names y'all have for him. There's so many, just too many names. And you just hate him. As long as you're doing that, you're good. The minute you step outside the bounds of that, once you cross the line, then it's like, oh no, we can't have that. You know, you could talk about Trump, you can bash him, because we don't like him, right? You're just making, you're just helping our agenda that has nothing to do with you. But when you step outside those lines, okay, we can't have that, right? And so blacks get too comfortable, you know, okay, yeah, we can talk about Trump, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this, we can talk about what? Oh, now let's talk about the white man killing their kids. And next thing you know, you're on a terrorist list. And I told you guys, and I and, and if I find that video, it might be on my Phyllis J1111 channel, but I told you guys, even then, man, I said, listen, you guys will end up on a terrorist list, man. You're going to end up on a terrorist list, and they're coming for you. A lot of y'all didn't believe me. As a matter of fact, I think I was attacked for that, right? But a lot of y'all are on these terrorist lists, man, and don't even realize it, right? And so now you took this shooting, and I think it's quite interesting because as long as black people will believe that everything the media tells them, CNN, MSNBC, New York Times, you know, CBS, all of these um, never Trumpers, all these Trump-hating media sites, you believe everything they say until they say something about black people. The minute they come back and say, the Hebrew Israelite or former Hebrew Israelite is linked to the shooting, oh, they coming after the black man now. Uh-oh, here they come. They coming after the Hebrew Israelite. They're targeting them because they black. Oh, here they go. I just knew it. Here they come. Now, you have a problem with the media, but you believe everything prior to that, everything they spewed out there, they're spewing out, they've been spewing out all types of lies these last several years. And you gobbled it up, you believe it. To the point where you turn your back on your own family and your own so-called friends. You threaten the lives of people, man. You physically attack people because they thought different than what the media was spewing out and you believe what the media was saying. So now that they're talking about black Hebrews, oh, they're coming after the black Hebrew Israelite. It's because we black. The white man. The white man. This the white man. This. Now it's the issue. So I just think it's interesting that y'all believe the news until they say something about black people, right? And now you don't want to accept it. Because now it's not the truth, right? But I'm going to read this, this, this first paragraph and then um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave the rest of the article for you to read yourself. You see, white woman kissing his feet, you know, all this stuff, man. They make notes of this, man. You know, they making notes of this, you know? <coughs> and you think you getting away with it. <coughs> think you getting away with it, man. She get some ginger beer. Ginger beer is good, some good stuff, man. But um, you think you getting away with that, man. So, Law enforcement sources in New Jersey have named the two shooters who killed New Jersey detective, uh, who, who killed Jersey City detective Joseph Seals in the Bayview Cemetery before calmly driving to a kosher supermarket where they murdered three Hasidic Jews. They also wounded two police officers and a fourth Hasidic Jew as well. Now. <coughs> When I first <clears throat> heard about this shooting, I didn't really read too much into it. But when I heard Kosher Market, at that moment, I, I said to myself then, okay, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a, a hate crime, man. It's gonna be a hate crime. I just heard, when I heard Kosher Market, I knew it was gonna be a hate crime. I just knew it, I just knew it, right? But anyway, Ending on this on this last paragraph, 
Multiple media reported Wednesday that Anderson was a former member, a former member, a former member. They're now, they, they're even admitting that this dude is no longer admitted, a, a member, but they're shining light on the Hebrew Israelites as a whole because of a lot of the rhetoric, man, a lot of the information or nonsense, madness, hate that they've been spewing out throughout the years. They made note of this. They even sent spies in among the Hebrew Israelites, white spies to pick arguments with them. And you know what? You forget history because just like Malcolm X, when he did his Hajj to Mecca, they had FBI, CIA, CIA agents trailing him, taking pictures of him, right? And trust me, when you guys are on the street, these guys are out in the open. I give them props for what they do. But when they out in the open like that, man, you're open, man. They don't, don't, you can't tell me that they hadn't already took your picture. They know who you are. They know exactly who you are. You know, they got people in among you, man, with video cameras and photos and you're smiling and talk about the white man boldly because you feel you're free, right? And you forget, right? And then they, what they're doing is, and I told you guys in that video that I made before I canceled Freedom 2005, I told you guys, downtown, man, I was told that they got a wall just here locally with dudes pictures on it man and these dudes have no idea that they're on that wall they're watching you because you were around somebody they were watching somebody that was a target somebody that was hot they're watching that person and you just happen to walk up yo what's up man gave the dude some dap and it's okay who's this person click click and now they got your picture on the wall because they want to know who you are and what type of association you have with this dude a lot of y'all are on the wall downtown and don't realize it, right? Just by association, right? <laughs> so, so again, like I said, you're doing it to yourself. Multiple media report Wednesday that Anderson was a former member of the Black Hebrew Israelite movement whose members believe they are descendants of the ancient Israelites. Now, it's interesting that after this took place now the Jews are now considered a nationality interesting huh the Jews are now a nationality signed into law All right mm -hmm. <clears throat> whose members believe they are the descendants of the ancient Israelites officials say they were anti-police and anti-Semitic posts online linked to Anderson's social media page. Investigators are checking to see if they are written by Anderson himself. So they even check it out. They even check out your social media pages, man. And y'all just get on and just say any and everything that you want to say because you think you're free. You forget you're behind enemy lines, man. You just can't, you can't forget. You cannot forget, man. You have to remember. Be conscious, man. That's where true consciousness is, man, when you know where you are. See, a lot of y'all are focused on you don't know who you are. But a lot of y'all don't know where you are. So you think you're free, right? So you think you're free. You think the Democrats, we Democrats, we diehard Democrats, and they're like, putting you deeper and deeper in the face. That's why this whole fight, this whole political thing that's going on, this whole impeachment thing, is to keep you enslaved. And you guys are supporting them. Tell my oh, especially the black women. They was posting on Instagram like, oh, Nancy Pelosi is just such a powerful woman. She's the most powerful. Oh, she is a woman. It's a woman. Just so powerful. These black females. Black females. Right? And you think we should trust you? Anyway, I'm gonna end on, I'm gonna end on that note. <coughs> Feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe, share the video. I'm gonna put a link 
to these these two articles on the bottom I'm gonna also put a link to my it's not I really wouldn't call it a new channel I'm gonna call it a new it's a new channel but it's not really new because I'm using the same sign-in information as I had with fearless 2005 that same information I just came on it's still there Google still got it so I turned it into another um, a YouTube channel right you know so uh, storm what is that what is that channel now anyway I'll put the link to that video on the bottom or to that channel on the bottom and you can subscribe if you choose to also click on the cash app link in the description box donate to the channel there's a fight coming up and I gotta see this fight man I gotta see this fight man it's December 28th it's on my birthday it's on my birthday December 28th it's gonna be uh, Tank Davis and what's the dude name he fight I just got done watching him man but it's gonna be a good fight Tank Davis is going to be fighting on the 28th, man, on my birthday. And I should treat myself, man, and go to that fight. I should treat myself and go there, man. But um, Cash App, Cash App in the description box, December 28th. But I should go to that fight, man, Tank Davis. It's going to be a good fight. It's going to be a good fight. It's going to be worth it, right? So check out that fight, y'all, when you get a chance. So anyway, feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe. Until next time. I'm fearless.